Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Stevens here with you this week for another week of learning at home. I'm so glad you joined us. Um, we are going to continue our study of entomology. And do you remember what entomology is the study of? Yes, great job. I heard you say insects. Good job. And we were talking about insects and their body parts and how many legs they have. And then we compared them to spiders and how they're a little different from spiders. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Spiders. I don't have any real spiders. Thank goodness. I'm not too crazy about spiders, but I like to talk about them, read about them. And later on, we're going to try to make one. I'm going to give you some ideas on how to make a spider and a spider web. Okay, we're going to start off our um, lesson today with a poem about spiders. So if you want to, you can read along. Okay, and what I'm going to do is like I've done in the past, I'm going to make myself disappear just for a minute so you can concentrate on the poem. Okay, it's called I Like Spiders. I like spiders on the wall. I like spiders, big or small. I like spiders on the ground. I like spiders, tall or round. Spiders, spiders everywhere. I just don't like them in my hair. Definitely do not want spiders in my hair. And I hope you were listening to that. I heard a lot of our power words. I heard some rhyming words. So maybe when this lesson is over, you can go back to this screen and you can find the power words and you can listen for the rhyming words. All right, so we are going to continue with our next slide, which is introducing a book by Eric Carle. Now, last week we read The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which was a very fun book written by Eric Carle, an author and illustrator. Well, today we're going to be reading The Very Busy Spider, and this is also written and illustrated by Eric Carle. Again, I'm going to make myself disappear so you can concentrate on the story, okay? I'm gonna read it to you, we're going to talk about it, and then I'm gonna show you a fun activity that you can do. Okay, here we go. Eric Carl, the very busy spider. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. Nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ba, ba, bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer, because why? You're right, she was very busy spinning her web. She's doing a beautiful job. Ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. <coughs> Grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. You're right. Woof, woof, barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. And look at the nice job she's doing. She's making a nice shape in there. I know you know that from Miss Martin's lesson, making that circle go around and around. Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. Guess what? She had now finished her web. Look at the beautiful work she did. Just like you do beautiful work when you're not distracted, right, by your friends. She didn't pay attention to her friends. She was concentrating on her work. Cock-a-doodle-doo, crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesty fly? I'm wondering if you noticed that fly on each page as I was reading. Maybe you can go back in the beginning when I'm all done with this lesson and you can try to find that fly on each page. Well, guess what? The spider caught the fly in her web, just like that. Hoo, 
who, asked the owl, who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. You know why? She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. And there's the completed spider web. It's now nighttime. It takes a long time for a spider to make a web. All right, now we're coming to, oh, the curtains are opening up because we're getting ready to watch a video on a spider. And I want you to think about what you notice in the video and compare it to the story I just read. So what I'm gonna do is I have to stop this screen so that I can go to another screen to show you that video. All right, so we are going to pop that up and bring that right to you. And I'm gonna make the screen a little bit bigger so Spiders. that you can follow along. Deep in the forest, you might just come across a creepy crawly spider. Spiders can be found all over the world, from Timbuktu to Uluru. Clever spiders can make silk, which they use to spin elaborate spider webs. Spider webs are great for catching a spider's dinner. Blowing gently in the wind. Unsuspecting flies get caught in the spider webs. Some spiders use venom like a snake to paralyze their prey, but most spiders are harmless to humans. The spider then wraps the fly or other prey up with silk. That way, the spider can eat the prey later. Did you know? that spiders are arachnids, not insects. Insects have six legs, three body parts, and antennae, while spiders have eight legs, two body parts, and no antennae. They can have up to eight eyes too, but they still don't have very good eyesight. Daddy long legs have really long legs. And some spiders, are brilliant and white. Spiders can lay up to a thousand eggs. That's a lot of babies when they hatch. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna stop that video. All right, and then I'm gonna bring back another screen. Hi, there I am. I'm gonna go back to my um, screen that I had with um, all the pages of the book. And I'm gonna go to the very end when we saw that completed spider web. And then we saw our short video, okay? And I want you to think about, hmm, how was that video the same as the book? Well, I saw a spider in the video and I saw a spider in the book. And in both, they were making a web and in both, they caught a pesty fly. All right, so. Let's go down to our next page and we're going to do something a little different this week, okay? I'm going to show you how to make a spider using some materials that you might have around the house. And if you remember when we were talking about Earth Day, we were talking about some materials that you might have around your house that you would typically throw away that we could recycle and use for something else. Okay, so what you will need will be a paper plate, okay some yarn okay or some string okay or if you maybe even have some thread a spool of thread you could use that okay ribbon maybe a shoelace from an old shoe or boot um, you could use a water bottle cap all right you'll need two of them because spiders have two body parts i drank my water first and then i'm recycling the cap all right, if you have Play-Doh, you can use Play-Doh to make your spider, roll, roll it into a ball to make your spider. I went outside and I collected some thin sticks, okay? I would need eight of them because we know that spiders have eight legs. You can also use toothpicks if you have those around. 
and then also an egg carton, okay? I have two different kinds, okay? I have this kind, and I have the cardboard kind, all right? This one might be a little easier to use if you decide you want to paint your spider, okay? Because all you would do would be to cut off this section of the egg carton, so you would have your two body parts, and then you could paint it, put the eyes on, and put those sticks or toothpicks inside the side of the carton to make your spider. Okay, so what you would do is you would take your spider, um, your spider web, your um, paper plate. I'm going to make myself a little bit bigger so you can see this better. Okay, so you start with a paper plate. If you don't have a paper plate, maybe you have a box from a snack that you finished. Okay, and you can cut that piece of cardboard off to have something very similar to a paper plate but I do have paper plates at home, so I'm using that. So you take your full paper plate, and then what you would do is you would cut grooves into the edge of the plate. Use your student scissors. If you don't have kid scissors, you can ask your parents if they could cut it for you using the adult scissors. And you're going to cut little triangles into the side of your plate. And I know you probably recognize those as triangles because you're doing shapes with Miss Martin, okay? So after you've made all of those little grooves into your plate, you're going to take your piece of string or your piece of yarn or your piece of thread and you're going to start making your web and you would start from one groove and go across to the other and then you would go through one groove and up to the other. And you would keep doing this until your web was complete. Now, I don't think it's going to take all night like it did in the book, but it might take some time, okay? And you keep going across, going into all the grooves, and you can do this a number of times and have a different pattern each time, okay? You might want to even turn your plate over onto the other side, and you might want to number the grooves. And then you can do your counting and go from one all the way up to however many grooves you have. That could practice your counting as well. When you're done with your spider web, that's when you can take your two bottle caps and glue them onto your plate to make your spider and then glue on the eight legs. Or if you chose to do your egg carton, okay, you can glue that onto your plate. Or if you have your ball of Play-Doh, then you can roll that up, give it a little squish, and do two of those to make the two body parts. And Play-Doh is a lot easier to put the sticks or the toothpicks into the side, and then you can do that, okay? So I want you to try to do an activity like that. If you don't have the egg carton or the bottle caps, but you do have your other supplies, you could draw your spider on there, okay, with a crayon or a marker. You could use a thumbprint if you have an ink pad and put the legs on there, and it'll be just as good as if you had used the egg carton, okay? So that's the art activity I would like you to try if you can. Take a picture of it, send it to your teachers, and they will forward it on to me. All right, so now what I'm going to do is that's your art activity, okay? Now I'm going to go back to my slide. All right, and remember, you can always go back and you can um, look at the list of supplies that you need, okay? Maybe use your imagination. Maybe there's something else that I didn't think of that you could use for the body parts or for um, the web, okay? Now, that takes us to our writing activity. Now, I have seen some great writing with your Earth Day projects, your insect writing. Well, now I think it's time to try to write at least two sentences now telling about your favorite animal. Our art activity was about spiders. Our writing activity is going to be based on what you saw in the book. We saw many different animals in the book. So you can choose an animal that you saw in the book that I read to you, or if there's another animal that you would like to write about that wasn't in the book, you can choose that as well. Now here's a challenge. I would like you to try to make a talking bubble in your picture. And in the talking bubble, write the sounds that that animal makes. You heard Mrs. Stevens make some animal sounds. I want you to try to do that in your writing. Make a talking bubble for that animal. 
Share your writing with your teacher. Have your parents take a picture of it. They can send it to your teacher. Your teacher will send it to me. And I will make up a nice slideshow of all of your writing and your pictures and your spider webs and your spiders. And I'll put it on our kindergarten YouTube channel, just like I did with your Earth Day projects. You can take a look at those when you have time as well. Okay, so I would like to end today with just a review of spiders, okay, that we learned about today. They are different from insects, so your pictures and writing will be a little different from what we did last week. Okay, and um, I can't wait to see those pictures. And remember, don't send me any real spiders, only your pretend spiders, okay? I know I'm not going to scream. I'm probably going to be very happy to see these kind of spiders, okay? So show the work to your teachers and they will send it to me, okay? We're going to meet on Wednesday and we're going to continue being entomologists. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye, boys.